Your friendly neighborhood barnyard animal is back with the randomized Pokemon Nuzlocke Challenge and Heart Gold. After losing the Farm Fam mascot in the quickest way possible, Goatly is back with greater focus and renewed purpose. Welcome to Goatly Goat Gaming. New episodes every Sunday. Welcome on back for episode two of my Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. Obviously, part one ended on a little bit more of a devastating note than I would have liked, so we're back for part two, run number two. And uh, I think a lesson that we learned off the bat for our uh, uh, starter Pokemon here is just because uh, Pokemon look strong does not mean Pokemon be strong. So let's uh, take that lesson into our starter selection here and see what we have to work with. Uh, that being said, I mean, the abilities being randomized can really make any- Oh my god, Rhyperior? That's awesome. I, again, though, just because strong Pokemon look strong does not mean strong Pokemon be strong. Okay, I take that back. I think we can judge a lot based on that that, that particular pay. Ooh, Jolteon. But based on that particular picture of Wismer, we can say no. Jolteon, on the other hand, that's an interesting idea because we could use... It's a good typing electric. We could use Thunder Wave to uh, get uh, better chances on Nuzlocke enc or, or, uh, encounters on routes. Um, the only thing I'm thinking of, honestly, is the fact that it's going to be weak to the ground type if this is what the rival picks. I think for that reason alone, I'm going to go with Rhyperior. That makes a lot more sense, honestly. Uh, and let's see what the ability on is of this thing. But actually, first, let's name this thing. Okay, so we've got a male Rhyperior. Let me think. What do I want to go for? Oh, actually, I got a good one. Behold the Underminer! Let's take a look at the ability real quick of, of the Underminer. Where's my menu button? There it is. Perfect. Underminer, let's see what your ability is. You've got suction cups, negates foes moves that force switching out. That's that's kind of beans. That's that's not great. That's that's actually kind of poopy. It's got a, a better defense nature, which is, I mean, it's Rhyperior, so it's already got really good defense, but its speed got lowered. And that's not ideal. Uh, horn attack, tail whip, stomp, fury attack. So at least it's strong enough to take some hits in the field. That's not a, that's not a terrible Pokemon. All right, let's go head out on our Pokemon journey. Uh, first, we're going to get the potions from Elm's Aid, which is always helpful to have. Before we head out on our journey, if you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. We're closing in on 2,500 subscribers, and all we're missing is you. Now, let's head on over to Mom's for our Pokegear. Hey, Mom, check it out. I have a very cute, cuddly, uh, basically dinosaur behind me with a gigantic drill on its face that could uh, crack fissures in the earth at any moment. Uh, I do remember how to make a phone call, Mother. Yes, thank you very much. I am a child of the technological era, if you don't mind. All right, let's head on out to the wilds and see... Oh, wait, what's up, Professor Elm? Oh, you you also want to uh, have my phone number registered. I, I understand, yes. That way you can call me when you're in a moment's panic, and I can make sure that I can fly back home anyway and help you out when necessary. Let's see what we have in this route as we head on over to Cherry Grove. So Viper, eh, not that great. But it has Drought, okay. It's still not that ideal. I'm just gonna rip on through here and get some experience, because we also learned again that we're gonna need some levels in order to uh, survive in this Nuzlocke. That might, that's a novel concept, right? Actually having strong Pokemon, be strong. Ooh, light play. That's good if I find something with screens. Lantern. I love Lantern, actually. That would be a sweet Pokemon to have. I love the typing of water and uh, electric. This is absurd. Thank you, Underminer. Undermi Underminer. Underminer. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna learn our lesson from last time, or we're not gonna run any risks here. <laughs> it's too early to lose a Pokemon. It's too early to white out in the run. Guys, just a quick reminder of the rules as well. For the Nuzlocke, obviously, the first Pokemon that I encounter on any route is the only Pokemon that I am able to uh, catch at all. If I fail that encounter, then I am not allowed to have a Pokemon from that route, and I have to suffer the penalty the pun the penalty for it. Uh, if I lose a Pokemon in battle, that is it. It is done for the run. And if I white out in battle, then the run is done itself. Uh, the first two rules obviously apply to when I have Pokeballs, as I can't catch anything yet, so nothing else can really die yet. But, as you saw from the end of the first part, clearly, uh, I'm going to hold myself to if I white out in battle, then that is that. Um, and hopefully we can make it at least past the rival this time. That's a good idea. I think the, the goal here is to make it all the way up to Violet City for the first part. Um, that would be ideal, at least to uh, certainly get to Faulkner, or maybe even uh, just the very least Sprite ta Sprout Tower. Here we go. Let's see what we can get up on Route 30. Monferno is a good encounter. I like that. That would be a good... That would be good to have. Getting Infernape. <sighs> nice early game fire type, too. Metronome. Okay. We got some nice items on this route. Oddish, I'm not too concerned about. Um, let's stop here and get the Apricorn case, because we're going to need... Oh, I'm just going to run right past the guy. 
But we need that just to move on. Early game flags. Love that. Cool, let's grab that. Green apricorn. And make our way up to Professor... Oh, I'm sorry, Professor Oak. Ooh, Spinda. So, I mean, there's a lot of mid so far mixed in, in these early routes. I, I mean, it's, I'm going to really be hoping for particular Pokemon on these encounters. Dude, the Shell Bell is insane! That's the wrong button. The Shell Bell is absolutely awesome. We're going to give that to Rhyperior now, actually. Getting a little health back every time Rhyperior takes a hit. That's pretty cool. Let's make our way up here to Mr. Pokemon, meet Professor Oak, get called all the way back to uh, New Bark Town because Professor Elm's getting robbed. Get the mystery egg. Actually, I'm excited to see what the egg's going to evolve into. Hatch into, I should say. That's going to be a blast. All right, let me get that Pokedex, Oak. Thanks very much. And I'll see you in Goldenrod. Later, buddy. Oh, no, Professor, what's up? It's a disaster. Oh, no, I'll be right there. Oh, Mother Dearest, indeed, the Professor needs my help. I'll see you soon. All right, let me grab the pink apricorn on our way. I'm making my way downtown, walking fast, superior in my back pocket. Na -na 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 -na. And the shell belt already, I love that. Shell belt again, dude. I, I have to. The only thing I have to worry about is is not over leveling right here. We're catching something. Oh my god! This would be a great. Oh my god! This would be an insane encounter. But again, I have to make sure I'm not like. Crushing all these possible encounters because, like, if I overlevel Rhyperior, it's gonna be very hard to actually just knock something down to low. And actually, you know what? They're low enough level Pokemon where it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Speaking of not big of an issue, uh, hopefully, this rival battle is a much easier time because Rhyperior is doing pretty well right now. And it's either gonna be Wismer or Jolteon, so I think we're gonna be, I think we're gonna be all right here. Hey, Jolteon, perfect. I'm so glad I made this choice. Because it's certainly not going to be able to do anything electric-based. And that's really all I'm worried about. Yeah, exactly. Dude, this, this Rhyperior... I, we're, we're not going to lose Rhyperior for a long time. I say that now. Oh boy, yeah. If you know anything about me and my... Uh, uh, affinity for foreshadowing, then <laughs> you know that Rhyperior is going to be gone in a... Very strange, very typically goat way. Ooh, Nidoqueen, Queen. That's not okay. So there, I mean, again, there's a lot of mid, but there's some decent mods to actually get out of these routes. This is not bad. Oh, okay. If if all right, am I, I wasn't expecting to go with um, Incredibles characters, but I mean, what was the guy's name? What was the villain from the first Incredibles? Was it Syndrome? I think it was Syndrome. I mean, he's got crazy enough hair for it too. Actually, that's kind of fitting. Syndrome. I can't spell syndrome? I guess syndrome is going to have to be the... Uh, syndrome. <laughs> It'll have to play. Uh, that's fine. That works for me. You got it, man. Go find that red-haired kid named Syndrome. Alright. The egg to Professor Elm. You enjoy that, buddy. I'm going to go uh, grab some Pokeballs, and I'm going to go head on out to my adventure, and I'm going to start my, uh, my 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 true Nuzlocke challenge, Professor Elm. Thank you. Alright, let's go check with Lyra. I'm curious. I, I, I think the, uh, the catching tutorial Pokemon should be random also. Her Meryl also should be random. All, everything should be random. The trainers, the Pokemon. Not the trainers, I guess, themselves. The trainer Pokemon. I'm sorry, is Venusaur on this route? Because is, that's a conversation we can have. That's something that I could certainly find myself getting behind. That, like, no problem. No, not a problem at all. You gonna tell me you try to catch that Venusaur with a Pokeball from here? Without any other sort of... Its HP is down. That doesn't mean it's in catch range. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on, show me, Lyra. Show me this magic. Yo, if it's that easy, I can do it too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the run has officially begun. I'm thrilled. Let's do this. Let's find our first encounter, guys. I am so excited. Let's get on into it. All right. Who is going to be joining the squad first alongside the Underminer? Lantern. Okay, perfect. I like Lantern. We could do this. We could definitely do this. I don't know enough uh, Incredibles characters. I guess we might just say, I, I mean, I don't want to necessarily go with Disney characters. We'll do what we got to do. But I, let's catch this thing first either way. 
Fury attack. I'm an idiot. Oh! No, stay there! Hey, it was the crit! It was the crit! I should have just gone for Hornet's attack. Okay, well, we're not getting Lantern. So, that's, that's the way that one goes. Moving on! <laughs> Oh boy, I'm in trouble if I can't uh, get my encounters to, to, to work for me here. Oops. That's... Alright, we're going to forget that one happened, guys. We're going to move right along here. Uh, <clears throat> Lantern's only one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. But... It's okay, because we're going to have a better Pokemon encounter out on Route 30. It's okay. It's completely fine. There is no Copium involved here whatsoever. We are getting... Oddish. All right! Yeah, yeah Oddish! We are... We're getting Oddish, guys. We're gonna... I should have just... I should have just thrown the ball at the Lantern before, too. We're getting Oddish, guys! Yeah, this is gonna be our... our the best... This is the best uh, uh, sidekick Pokemon that we've ever had to a starter possible. I mean, I <laughs> clearly... Dog, like, this, you just gotta talk nice to her. That's all. Uh... Boy. Naming this thing, let's see, my weed Pokemon. Well then, <laughs> uh, maybe we name this thing Snoop. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know enough uh, Disney characters to, uh, or, or at least like Incredibles characters to go for it. I'm just naming this thing Snoop for the, uh, for the, for the, for the vibes. Let's take a look at uh, Snoop's summary here and its ability. It could be Borked, you never know. This could be the most Borked Oddish out of its mind. Multi type. Ooh, changes to Arceus's ability. So if you find any plates. That could be interesting. It's got a boosted speed nature, a lowered defense nature. It could be better. Uh, what's the moves, actually? I kind of missed that. We have Absorb. That's straight up just Absorb. Well. It could be better. Um, you know what we should do is we should definitely switch train at least Oddish, or Snoop, I should say, up for the front. At least start getting it some experience. Not saying that it's going to be the... Uh, oh, whoops, wrong, wrong way. Not saying that it's going to be... Dude, you could have been... It could have been... It could have been you! You were the chosen one! I mean, if Oddish is able to take Gabite down, though, that's going to be a lot of experience. And does Gabite only know Sand Attack? Because... Oh, no, no Tackle. Okay. Which is fine, because... Ooh, Oddish? Uh, Oddish? Hey, Oddish, we don't need to be risking our, uh, our, our, our our second Pokemon already so soon. Hey, Underminer, you want to get on out here and just help out? Thanks, pal. Cool. Snoop grew to level 4. Either way, I have got to heal Snoop because I don't want to run into any issues like that. Alright, Snoop. Perfect. And let's start, uh, start battling, guys. Let's get into, uh, let's get into our first tussle with Youngster Joey. And his Dunsparce. Using Rage, huh? That's gonna be an issue over time, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, I need to get to Rhyperior. That- oh my god. One? I'm so sorry, Dunsparce. It was never meant to happen that way. Uh, sure, Joey, what's up? Yeah, we can absolutely register my, my number. Be happy to see you and your Dunsparce down the road. I think this is Youngster Tristan? If my memory of Johto serves, Youngster Mikey. Oh well. Oh, Glaceon. That's bad for me. Um, that's actually kind of crappy for both my Pokemon, but I have enough levels on Underminer that this shouldn't be an issue at all. There we go. Yeah. And Snoop! Oh, Jirachi, huh? Uh, we should be fine. We should still be fine. Oh. We should still be very fine. Yeah! See? Nothing was wrong. We we're good to go. I think I need to heal Snoop again, though. Yeah, okay. Let's just do that, just to be safe. We do get a couple more encounters up here, actually, on Route 31 and in Dark Cave. If I want to do Dark Cave right now, I could also choose to save it for a little bit later on. I, th I think because I lost the Lantern, I should probably go for Dark Cave now. Uh, Zoomeril. I should be... This should be much easier, actually, for Oddish. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's, that's a Pokemon that Oddish can work with. Perfect! Machamp, on the other hand, we can, we, we can switch train. We can try. That's scary as crap. Um, I'm just gonna go straight for Underminer because that's gonna be the uh, safer option. The, the Leer, the Leer, no, we don't need the Leer and the Focus Energy. That's the last thing that we need. Okay. Hello, Mother. Oh, I didn't mean for her to save my money. Alright, that's fine, whatever. It's not the worst thing. We'll make so much money, it's not gonna matter down the road. 
All right, Route 31. Let's see what our encounter on 31 is. I have no idea what's in this grass. Nummel. Could have had Monferno on an earlier route. Eh. Ew, let's just throw a uh, let's just throw a ball at this thing, huh? Let's see what we can get out of this. All right. All right, Nummel. I see you're gonna be difficult then. Um, the good thing is I have a move that's not gonna be not not very effective. That was very effective for not being very effective. What the hell was that? I'm glad we. Okay, sure. I would hope at that point we catch it. Oh my god, that was that was terrifying for half a second. That was I, I saw my my Nuzlocke light flash before my eyes. Um. Fire ground, yeah. I mean, maybe the ground, and maybe you know, maybe it wasn't not very effective because of the ground part of it. Okay, I could see that. Anyway, Nummel, what are we naming you, Nummel? I'll call him Torch. Cool. Okay. All right. Let's take a look and see what Torch has to offer for us as far as an ability and a little bit of a move pool. Oh, it also has a Rossberry on it. That's. I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, Tangled Feet raises evasion if the Pokemon is confused. That's kind of cool, actually. I, I, I've i never seen that before, but I'm not going to hate against that. Higher special defense, lower speed. Wow, the higher special defense is probably what kept it holding on against the uh, Absorb from Snoop there. Uh, that said, let me heal up Torch. And we'll keep moving along here. This is, this is okay, this isn't the worst thing so far. We got the makings of a de decent squad here. Let's head on over to Dark Cave now. And see what encounter we can get out of out of here. Oh, the music in Gen 2 hits so different, man. I mean, and they only made it better with the Gen 4, like, audio mixing. Quillava? Dude, yes! This would be such a perfect encounter for, uh, uh, a perfect partner for this, for the Johto Nuzlocke. Absolutely. The question is, how many balls do I have? I've got two Pokeballs. This is going to be a high catch rate. I think the best thing for me really to do is absorb, honestly. I mean, Nummel's got something weak or two, but I, I feel like... Yeah, I was going to say, it's not going to be very effective here, so that's... I'm not going to... Quillava doesn't have a ground type for me to have to worry about, so it's just straight grass against fire. The leer to lower my defenses is is, 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 is starting to scare me a little bit, though, because like, obviously I'm weak the other way around. Okay. That's not bad. We can we, we we eat that. We eat that all day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Sometimes fourth meal. Sometimes, not every time. Sometimes there's a crit, and that's the scary stuff. But so far we're doing all right, man. And I mean, honestly, a crit my way would not knock this thing out. This should bring it to red. No, now I'm now I'm worried about a crit my way. Now I'm worried about that. But the problem is. Man, I don't know if I catch with a Pokeball here. Let's let's try it. Let I, mm, mm, that's tough, man. I uh, probably uh, mm, I'm not gonna second guess myself now. I'm already here. I was I was gonna say I probably could have gone to uh, Cherry Grove, gotten or not Cherry Grove, uh, Violet City, getting more Pokeballs and come back here for this encounter. But we're here now, so let's have faith in us being here now. We came here for a reason. We're going to leave with a purpose. With a partner is what I should have said. All right, I'm gonna try the. Watch the. All right, this the, the last absorb I do is gonna be one that crits it, of course. Don't prove me right, Quillava. Don't prove me right. Just stay on. Hang on. Oh, let's go. Oh, come on, baby. One ball in a dream. One ball in a dream. Come on, Quillava. We got big things ahead of us, man. We got a we got a long journey. We could use you on the squad, buddy. Let's go, Quillava. Yo, it's that's that is that is that's unfortunate. That is slightly heartbreaking. Um, well, in that case, uh, Quillava, I appreciate your efforts. I appreciate your contributions. You you were a good experience for Snoop here. You were a great experience for Snoop. That is so upsetting, man. Ah, you know what? It's because we've got Torch on the squad. We already have a fire type. Torch was in the background like, hey, listen, listen, it's it's either me or nothing else. You get what you get, fire-wise, okay? Ooh, Miltank, uh, you know, I don't think I would have hated Miltank for the Nuzlocke. 
but we are not going to run any risks here with Miltank. Uh, we know what Miltank can do in Johto. Uh, let's keep moving along here. We'll get to Violet City. X attack. I'm probably. I don't want to use the X items in the run. I, I'm gonna try to use uh, as few like cheesy items as I can. And I think I think the X items are kind of cheesy. I also haven't said it much, but I'm also going to keep myself to uh, the level cap pretty much of each upcoming gym ace. So I don't. I don't. I should actually familiarize myself with it before I let Underminer get too high of a level, but. I do not want its t uh, level to get higher than Faulkner's Ace, which I think... I want to say it's like a 13. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm all right for now. I've got a level 10 Rhyperior, and I still got to go through the Sprout Tower, so I feel like I'm okay for now. I mean, also, Rhyperior has been crushing everything that walks into its path, so that's a different story. Bug Catcher Wade. I don't know why I said that was so weird. Bug Catcher Wade. With Mischievous to start, uh, I feel confident that Snoop's good here in front of Mischievous. I don't think it has a Psychic move this early on. At level 2, that'd be crazy if it did. Alright, well, I don't have any other attacking moves with Snoop, so I was hoping either a one-shot or nothing, but let's go for Torch. Who can't do anything. So let's go to Underminer, who can't do anything either against a Ghost. Oh, no. Hey, Editor Goatly here to save you precious minutes of your life. Because the next five minutes of mine went like this. Stalling out Miss Magius until it struggled to death. Thankfully, I've got all the PP in the world. I thank you. A simple Mantine. A Steel-type defensively thick with three Cs. Bastiodon running Protect. And there's another Pokemon. Meganium. F*** you, Wade. And I want your number two. Oh, my God. I can't even re imagine a rematch with this thing. We're out of here. See you, Wade. All right, Skiploom, I don't, I just don't have the patience for you right now. <laughs> All right, okay, Lyra, what do you got for me? The versus recorder, perfect. I can go back and battle Wade anytime now to my heart's content, which is going to be probably never. Uh, all right, let's get into the Pokemon Center heal, thank goodness, uh, and take a quick look and see what the trade, the the, the in-game trade is over here because I randomized those two. So I really, I'm curious, like, can I trade an Oddish or a Nummel, and what could I get out of it? They're gonna be like, hey, do you have a Rhyperior, and can I get a uh, do you, do you want do you want a Rattata? Do you have Ariados? Okay. For a po yo, that's such a solid trade. That's such an amazing trade. Tell me you're holding a King's Rock and that's a Politoed. If I find an Ariados, I'm coming back for that. That's that's incredible. We made it past the rival and all the way to Violet City. Now on to our first gym battle. But before we do that, we have to go through a whole Sprout Tower with entirely randomized trainer battles. Will I make it through this test unscathed? Find out next Sunday when we're back for part three.